Let's look at the anatomy of Azure Monitor, which is a little bit complex, but I'm sure we can work our way through it. So the first thing is that we need uh, sources of data. So these, this is what, uh, what data can be sent into Azure. So you probably want application data, operating system data, uh, data from Azure resources at your subscription level, your tenant level, which is gonna be associated with Active Directory and custom sources. And once you get those into Azure Monitor, you have to store them somewhere and you're gonna put them in logs and monitors. And these are just data stores that are within Azure Monitor that you're gonna be able to work with. And once you have that data in there, you're gonna be able to leverage different services to do different things. Um, and so we will call these functions. So you can perform insights, uh, visualizations, uh, analysis, uh, response, and integration. So what we'd look at insights, uh, we're getting insights into our virtual machines, our containers, our applications. Uh, for visualization, you might be making dashboards. Uh, you could be using Power BI or creating workbooks. For analysis, you might be using the log analysis or the metric analysis tools. For responses, uh, you might want to create alerts or start auto-scaling. And for integrations, you might want to use logic apps or export APIs to connect things up. So there you go.